What you got? Let's cook. What you got? Let's cook. Hey, what you got cooking, Natty? Good morning. Well, it's time for episode 14 of the What You Got? Let's Cook. What You Got? Let's Cook. It's early morning, and I just want to know what I'm going to be working with today. So let's pick two items from the What You Got? Cook with me. What You Got? Cook with me. If you're new to my channel, these are things from my Best Before Pantry that I need to use up. There's a super freezer in there, which means I could use something from the freezer. Hopefully I get that because there's something I want to use in the freezer. But we'll see. I am going to pick two today. Or I could pass. I'm picking two. One. Two. Let it be something good. Let it be something good. Let it be something good. Something fabulous. A can of stewed tomatoes. Dates. And these are dates. Hey, I'm gonna make some kind of dessert. I'm gonna make a tomato. Stew tomatoes. So what am I going to make with these today? Something delicious. So I'm going out today to do some errands. So I'm going to do a crock pot meal. And I'll make a dessert with the dates. So let's make the crock pot meal now. Let's prepare it. And this way it will be ready for when I get back today. So check out the new crock pot Jay got me. So my other crock pot has retired. It had a hairline crack in it and I didn't want it to crack while I was cooking one day or something. So Jay replaced it with this beautiful turquoise crock pot. So we're going to try it out today for the first time. Let's see what we have left here that we could use up. So we're going to use uh, lentils that I bought, the beef broth. Of course, this from the What You Got, Let's Cook. The rest of those carrots that I bought. And, hmm. Nutritional yeast over there. Lots of stuff here. It's kind of a mess, guys, but it's all in the corner there. So we got lots of stuff. Got some sweet potatoes. Still have some sweet potatoes left over. We got some coconut, coconut milk. Some of these chips. We didn't even eat them all last time I used them. We got slow cooker stuff. Beef broth. Masala festive. Noodles. Hmm. Not much we could play with. Well, let's make it what it is. We'll use up what we got. What we got is some food. We'll make something beautiful with the food. Okay. So I'm going to take the carrots. I'm going to cut them in half. This is what I have left. I'm going to keep them for Bella, actually. She likes carrots. So I'm going to cut them in small pieces because the lentils are pretty small. To make a kind of soup, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, people? Mm. Bella will get that. I find it strange that when you buy beans in a can, it says on the can to rinse the beans. Do they can dirty beans or what? So I'm going to rinse these beans. My bad, these lentils. Time to make it beautiful, beautiful soup, oh yeah, yeah. Fuck. All right, so we're gonna put the can of stewed tomatoes. We're gonna crush it down just a little bit. Just 
so we don't have these whole tomatoes when we're eating our soup, right? We're going to throw in those carrots, so we're... No more carrots. No more carrots. And we have one can of stewed tomatoes left in my pantry. And... Yeah, that'll be... All those tomatoes will finally be gone. I could start using the other tomatoes. Then we're going to do the lentils. So I rinsed the lentils. And today I'm using the spirit spoon to mix everything together. Magic spirit spoon. Nice and delicious. I can leave it like that even, and it still would be delicious. I'm going to add some of this beef broth. Beef broth. I'm going to take the whole thing and put it in there. Just the whole thing. So we have two days worth of soup for me and Jay. Just make it absolutely yummy. Absolutely yummy. I'm going to stir that. Now we should add some salt and pepper in there. Magic pepper. Magic pepper. Magic salt. Magic salt. I'm going to add some curry. So about two tablespoons of curry. I'm just doing it by eye. Two tablespoons of curry. Mix it up. Give it that nice flavor. And we're gonna add some ginger. Ginger beef. So about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of ginger. So this is powdered ginger. Half a teaspoon of ginger. Ginger, ginger. It's gonna be good. And I think that's pretty much all we need, eh? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try this. Cause I'm gonna leave it. Since it's still cold, I'm gonna add one, two, three teaspoons of coconut milk. Oh, frick, I hope I didn't. No, Nat, you gotta put good vibes into it because you're starting to say things in your head like, oh, it's not gonna be good. But you know what? It's gonna be delicious. So let's do the good vibes. So let's put the good vibes into this because I'm thinking bad things right now. I don't think it's gonna work out, but... Let's put the good vibes in the will. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. There's chunks in there. You know what I got to do? Is I got to whip it. Whip it good. Whip it a little bit. Yeah, I think once it's uh, warm, hot there, these big chunks will come out of it. It's because they put it in cold water and the coconut kind of hardens a little bit when you put it in the cold water. It doesn't soften up. But once it's hot, things will change, right? 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 Hopefully. Okay. Ta da! Let's put that in the crock pot for four hours on uh, on low. So let's put it on low for four hours. New for first time. Try my crock pot, guys. This is my new crock pot. Blessed be crock pot. Make a beautiful meal for us today. Make a beautiful meal for us today. 
So I took this. So I took the seeds out of the dates, and I split them up a little bit. So we're going to use that in our little concoction today. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use it. Those dates are going to get used up today. Okay, so it's time to check the crock pot. Ooh, the house smells really good. It came in and was like, wow. Even the dog was sniffing the air going, hmm, it smells good in here, mama. It smells delicious. So we're going to taste test of this beautiful soup. This lentil coconut curry, or curry coconut lentil soup. What you got? Curry coconut lentil soup. What you got? Curry coconut lentil soup. Let's see what it tastes like. Taste test time! Mm. Time to taste test this beautiful soup. right behind you. It's very hot. That's right in front of you. It's very hot. God, I look handsome in this lighting. Oh my god, it's hot. Gotta be careful. Crock pot hot. Lentil soup. Lentil soup. Coconut. Coconut curry. Lentil soup. What you got? Curry. Coconut. Curry, coconut, lentil soup, something like that. Does it need pepper or salt or anything? I don't know. It's hot. Freaking hot. That's the one thing about crock pots. So freaking hot. So freaking hot. Here's like carrots, lentils, tomatoes. Mm hmm. A bunch of stuff in here. Oh, it's good, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Turned out better than I expected. Because I sang the song of uh, the Good Vibe song. The delicious Good Vibe song. Mmm. So, I think eat at the table soup. Yeah. Because it's hot. Mm -hmm. But it's good! It actually turned out really well yep. with the curry and the coconut uh, coconut milk. Coconut milk. So yeah. Another recipe that's nice and cheap. Put stuff from your pantry and from your fridge, the carrots. Cool so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and make something now with dates once this is done. And I'm not sure if it's going to be dessert or something savory. And I still have this much soup left. So tomorrow, I have soup for lunch. So I'm using up the bacon that I had left. I had three slices left, so I cut them up. And we're going to cook them up with the dates. And make something yummy. Okay, so I got a half a cup here. Well, just under half a cup of water. Warm water. And one tablespoon of coconut sugar. And we're going to stir that in until it's completely uh, dissolved. Slowly pour it in. Not too fast. There we go. Now I'm going to add the figs. Oof. So now I'm going to add the figs that I cut up into little pieces. Took the seeds out so there's no seeds in there anymore. I'm just going to mix that into the bacon grease. Make sure it's completely covered. And slowly add more of that coconut water, or that coconut sugar. Mm. 
and just uh, caramelize it a little bit. Put it on low, guys, not too high because you could burn it very easily. So I'm just slicing up the bacon a little bit because I thought they were a little bit too big for what I have planned right now. I'm just cutting them up into little pieces. Because I have an idea for this. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. Absolutely delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. What you got? Sweet bacon date tortillas. What you got? Sweet bacon date tortillas. Okay. Okay, guys. Taste test time. So, just something I concocted. These would have been better on crackers or on cheese. I could actually put it on cheese too. But I just want to see what it would taste like. So bacon, coconut, so bacon and dates with some coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. Different. It's good dessert. This would be good dessert. I wonder if you could on ice cream. Mm. Jay's not trying it. Because I went to see my mom and dad today. My mom stuffed his face with a whole bunch of pepperonis, pepperettes, uh, kibasa, cheese. So he ate that bowl of soup and he's stuffed. So, that being said, I'm willing to try this by myself. And so far, I'm loving it. Mm. But I want to try something different. I just want to see if it's going to be good with ice cream. So I'm trying it with the cherry chocolate truffle. Mm, yeah. There we go. Put some of that on there. Bacon. Come on, bacon. Bacon. Come on. Give me a piece of bacon. Jeez. There we go. Bacon and a date. Mmm. Mmm. I just created a delight da, 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 in my mouth that goes. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I'm going to do that again. I saw an explosion in my mouth when that happened. So let's try again. Mmm. It's salty and sweet. <laughs> it's just all the good things. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, forget the tortillas. The tortillas are good on with they're good with the tortillas. That would even be good on crackers. But let me tell you, there is nothing like this with ice cream. I gotta get some more of that stuff. Ice cream. Oh god, it's hot. Oh shit, it's hot. There we go. Mm. 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 <laughs> try it, guys. Just try it. Dates, bacon. Cut it up. Fry it up. And then add a little bit of coconut sugar with a little bit of water just to add a little, you know, sizzle to it kind of thing. To caramelize it a little bit. And then add it with ice cream, your favorite ice cream. I say the cherry one, the chocolate truffle cherry. Oh, <laughs> I think this would even be good with vanilla icing. Uh, vanilla icing. Vanilla ice cream. But man, I'll tell you, this is a game changer. Mmm. 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 Delightful. Delightful. There's no way, I don't care how stuff he is, he's going to try this because he's going to love it. He's going to love it. 
Come on, Jay, try this. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Okay, ready? Go. Mm. <laughs> well, look, look. Mm. Mm. Show your face. Mm. Don't hide. I was trying. Is it good? Mm, yeah. That's mm. freaking good, eh? Mm. I, I think it created a monster now. Uh, a monster uh, dish. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. So delicious. Good. Can I have another one? Mm-hmm. I'll go put some more over there. Okay. We got it all in there. <coughs> God. Open your mm -hmm. freaking mouth. How is it? <laughs> it's good, eh? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh my god. Mm. Another creation. Just with things from what you got? Cook with me. What you got? Cook with me. Just using the things I have in my fridge, my freezer, my cupboards, best before pantry, all that good stuff. Look like at Bella wants to try it too. Bella can't try it, baby. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyways, guys, that's my meals for today. That's my specialty for today. The best specialty, I think, this week, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the, what, the second recipe this week? Well, yes. I don't know, but they're all, they're all good. So far, I think I, that's my favorite. That is my favorite. That was absolutely delicious. The soup wasn't bad either. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Really hot, though, but pretty good. And yeah, not spicy hot, just temperature hot. Yeah, crock pot hot. C-E-H? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and click on that bell below. It will notify you when I have another video coming. But I have a video usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.